Right, my friends, it's about time. It is actually, it's about time. A lot of you guys out there are thinking, why are you wearing these glasses, Jacob? Do you even need them? Well, there's one reason and one reason only today, and that is so I can look as smart as possible before I do the Wonderlick test. What is the Wonderlick test, you ask? Well, let's find out. The Wonderlick test, the Wonderlick Contemporary Cognitive Ability Test is a popular assessment used to measure the cognitive ability and problem-solving aptitude of prospective employees for a range of occupations. And I'm led to believe uh, the, one, of, one of the occupations, one of the probably highest paid occupations they use this for, is to test quarterbacks in the game of football. Now, originally I thought that a Wonderlick test was to do with football. But after reading that, it looks like it's just a general IQ type test. Started in 1936, 12 different languages. Uh, we've got a score grade range from 0 to 50, with one point per question, and a score of 20 intended to represent average intelligence. Okay, so 20 is average. Anything above 20 is uh, above average, I'm led to believe, from 0 to 50. Now what I will say guys, is that, what I will say is that if I get under 20, this video will never make it to YouTube. If I get over 20, it will make it to YouTube. So with that being said, I'm going to have to find a, a Wonderlick test to actually use. And uh, let's do this. Okay, we've got some, we've got some Wonderlick test scores here. Someone actually scored a 50. You, uh, you've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking. There's a genius in the NFL. Tom Landry, a two-time Super Bowl champ as head coach of the Cowboys and innovator of the new popular, or the now popular 4-3 defense, started using the Wonderlick test in the 70s to evaluate players. With the success Landry had, many teams began to follow suit and now it's regular practice in the NFL for draft prospects to take the test. Over time, players have benefited from taking the test while others never even got to sniff the NFL because of it. Shit, okay, so it's held in quite high regard. Uh, we've got the only known player to ever get a perfect score on the Wonderlick test came from Harvard and played primarily on special teams. Go figure. McKinnelly, McKinnelly, McKinnelly was chosen in the fifth round of the 75 NFL draft by the Bengals and appeared in one Pro Bowl and one Super Bowl. He also completed three or four career passes for 81 yards. Okay, he was a punter, but he passed four times in the NFL. Interesting. 49, 48, 48, 48. We've actually got a, 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 a current player, um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, or Fitzmagic. Got 48 on the Wonderlick test. <laughs> the lowest. <laughs> The lowest Wonderlick scores in NFL history. Vince Young, Frank Gore is still in the league, believe it or not. Um, that's insane. Frank Gore got 6 out of 50 on the Wonderlick test. We have a worst score in history as Morris Claiborne. <laughs> While most players with low Wonderlick scores have seen teams shy away, uh, the Cowboys actually traded up to get Claiborne. With the 6th overall pick, He's managed seven interceptions and 265 tackles. He set out the first four games of the 19th season due to violating the league's substance abuse policy. Seventh year in the league and you're violating substance abuse policies? All right, still won his first Super Bowl ring as a member of the Chiefs, despite being inactive for the game. Claiborne's score should come with an asterisk as he was later reported to be diagnosed with a learning disability. Well, you fucked me up there, didn't you? Okay, take that back. Take that back. We've got some info. We've got some info. Now we need to find a test. <laughs> why, is, why did I just see Leonard Fournette? What the hell did Leonard Fournette get? 11. Ugh, 11 of 50. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I've had a couple of technical difficulties here. Um, the first thing I realized is that I'm going to have to scroll down every single question. Didn't want that. Second thing I realised is that, um, well, my, my card, my memory card actually filled up. So we've, we've sorted both of those things out. We're sitting down here. We've got 50 questions. We've got 12 minutes. Wish me luck. 
You'll be presented with 50 questions of varying format and difficulty. You've got 12 minutes to take the test, but time flies, so don't waste too much time on any single question. Upon completion, you're provided a badge with your score and the NFL player you scored better than. You can embed it on your personal website, blog, or share it to your favorite social media site. Well, we won't be doing that, unless I've got a good score. And in fact, if I don't, if <laughs> I'm gonna say right now, if I can't, if I can't beat the average of 20, you guys aren't going to see this video. But if I do, you will. So let's see. Avocado is to guacamole as tomato is to marinara. Two friends start at the same point. They walk in opposite directions for three meters, then turn left and walk another three meters. Then they turn left again and walk another three meters. How far apart are they? Six meters. Jake, Jacob was 27th in line at the airport. He was also 27th from the back of the line. How many people were in line? Fifty-three. Ernie has ten dollars in cash, cash with which he purchased gum, a candy bar, and beverage. If he does not have to pay sales tax, how much change do you receive? Ten bucks. Got dollar twenty-nine, two twenty-nine. 429, 469, 478, 508, 517, that means 483. When the letters are rearranged in CCIIAPF, you get a name of a Pacific Ocean. Add all the odd numbers in the list. Is the answer an even number or odd number? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five odd numbers. That must mean that it's an odd number. The eighth month of the year is August. I hope I got that one right. <laughs> I don't think you can go back in this. No, you can't. <sighs> Counting from one to 46, how many fours will you encounter? We got 11 in the 40s, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take away three of the 40s, that's 12. But I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get this one. Four, 14, 24, 34, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, yeah, 12. The day after tomorrow will be five days after last Friday. What day is it today? Monday. Carl owns 28 golf balls. Some are green, some are blue, some are orange. One fourth are red. A seven golf balls definitely green. No. Do the words fruitful and prolific have opposite meanings, similar meanings, or no relation? Fruitful, prolific. I'm going to go similar. Typing the word typewriter requires only one row of keys on a standard computer keyboard. Well, I suppose that's true. If Barry weighs 150 pounds, Ted weighs 125, and Matt weighs 175, any two of them weigh, 10 of the two of them together weigh 300 pounds. No, Barry and Ted weigh 275, so that's false. Unscramble the letters to form an English word. Shit. Oh my god. Fuck.
No. Next. First skipped question. We've only got fuck. We're almost halfway through. Only got 15 quid. Add the even numbers in the list. Is the sum an even number or odd number? Well, it's going to be an even number. That's a trick question. <laughs> Chris had four dollars. Coffee, chips, lottery ticket. Right. Dollar seventy nine, two seventy nine. Three thirty nine three forty eight means they'll get a dollar fifty two change, hopefully. No, oh, it's fifty two cents. Shit. Fifty two cents. Oh no. Okay. Zero one one. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. Eight plus five is thirteen. Nine thousand three hundred forty one when written backwards is read. One, four, three, false. Which object is least like the others? Car, wheelbarrow, boat, wagon, motorcycle. Well, I'd have to say boat. Which of the following values is not equal to 11? times 6, 66, that's 66, that's 66, 11 by 6 is 66, 6 sevens is 42 plus 24, 66, it's got to be this one. What is the word below? No. Next. What is one third of one fifth of one half of six hundred? One half is three hundred. One fifth of that is um, sixty, and one third of that is twenty. Strawberries to peach as carrot. I would say lettuce, but I'm going to say potato. I don't really know why. In four years, Phil will be half Tim's age. Two years ago, Tim was five times Phil's age. How old is Phil now? So two years ago, Tim was 10 and Phil was 2. So now Phil's four and Tim is 12 and in four years Phil will be eight and Tim will be 16. So how old is Phil? He's four. Which number is larger? 0 0.5, 5, 30 or 400? Well, it's got to be, it's got to be 400, right? Do the words revelation and relativity have opposite meanings, similar meanings, or no relation? Relative, revelation, relative, relative to that. Similar, relative. I'm going to go no relation. Uh, similar or no relation? I'll go no relation. To chide is to... Scold. Guess, that's okay. What word when added to the beginning of mill and the end of chain creates two other words? Saw. 
Gertrude is taller than Janelle. Nancy is taller than Gertrude. Who's the tallest? Nancy. Choose a sentence that most closely resembles the meaning of the proverb. A picture is, word, is worth a thousand words. Well, if we're talking closely, specifics, one word is worth one thousandth of a picture, effectively. Divide 50 in half, 25. Add 15, 40. Multiply by 10, 400. Subtract 25. What is the resulting number? 375. Come on, minute 45. 16 of 800 employees who work for corporations, Ed, receive what percentage of the employees? Okay, so that is 2%. Six cooks can boil 12 pots of water in four minutes. How many cooks are needed to boil 48 pots of water in four minutes? Six cooks, 12 pots. You're gonna need four sixes, it's 24. Julie is a hairstyle. She makes 10.25 an hour plus $6 extra. 40 hours perform 46 haircuts. So 40 times 20, uh, that's four. 400, 410, $410 plus 46 times 6, 4 sixes is 240, 6 six is 36, that's 276, 276 plus 410 is 686. The day before the day before yesterday was three days after Monday. <laughs> the day before, the day before yesterday, well, that was Thursday. I think it's Sunday. We've got 17 seconds. At a business meeting of five people, everyone shakes their hand, the other person one time, how many times? Oh, this is a trick question. I've, I've seen it before. Ah, my last answer wasn't submitted. You're joking me. You're joking me. I got a 30. I'm as smart as Philip Rivers. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm as smart as Philip Rivers. And uh, we've just seen Philip Rivers possibly retire, actually. Just got knocked out of the playoffs. Um, am I happy with that? No. Do I think I can get better? Yes. Am I completely and utterly unprepared for an IQ test right now? Yes. Did I receive a score of over 20? Yes. So I guess this video has to make it to YouTube. If you've enjoyed it, I'm not going to stick around. Fuck that. We've done it now. I got 30 on the Wonderlic test. I don't, I don't know if I'm too happy with that, to be honest. I don't know if I'm happy with that, but what I will do is shut the video off now and make another one. So, with that being said, I want to wish you a fantastic day. Try the Wonderlic test out yourself. It's, 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 it's something you could probably be prepared for, but 12 minutes is not long, that's all I'm going to say. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one. I got 30. 30? Really? Well I know I could have got at least two more. No, sorry, I could have got one more. There was one question that I know I fucked up. And apparently I can only see my results if I pay $4.99. All right, what is a good score on the NFL Wonderlic test? All right, let's see. This is the final piece of information. Depending on the position a player wishes to hold, blah, 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 but the average is around 21 points. Consistent with an average intelligence and a complete com competence and readiness to get on the field. Certain positions require higher scores than others, such as quarterback and offensive tackle, which average 24 and 26 points. For most players, a score, a score, for most players, a score anywhere within a few points of 20 can be considered good and shouldn't hold them back in their efforts to pursue a career in the NFL. Right, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to be back with you within 10 minutes to try this again on another website. And this time, I'm not going to talk, okay? 
I'm not gonna read through the question. You guys can read it. You can pause the video. You can do whatever you like. I just need to finish this test with the best score possible because then I can move on. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace out.